But the numbers suggest, at least, uh, according to a Bloomberg poll recently, that there is a lot of sympathy, not for all illegal immigrants, but for a specific segment, these folks who are, um, who are here through no fault of their own, uh, 64 to 30 in favor of the president's decision. Now, you know, I, I laid out in, in the column, and we talked about this Monday, I think Mitt Romney wins by coming out and saying, A, here's my long-term plan. B, I would immediately overturn the president's and institute a long-term plan that addresses and gives a legal path to citizenship for all of these people. But every single immigration policy has to start first with border security. This does not. And let me tell you about the economic implications of, of the president's move. That's what I would do. It would take five minutes. He doesn't have to get himself committed to anything. Um, and then the last element of this, I think, is the fact that you're seeing a huge boom in the Latino population, specifically in swing states. We have those numbers up here for you. I mean, it really is, in the past... Uh, few years, it's been a huge population boom. This is something Mitt Romney cannot ignore. And if Mitt Romney is thinking, well, I'm not going to win this group, so I'm not even going to try, I think that's a huge mistake because the flip side of that coin is that there's also a lot of voter apathy among this particular group. In Florida, for example, just in Florida, there's over 600,000 eligible but unregistered Hispanic voters. And we have a, a quote from someone who's talking to ABC News, a volunteer, who said, the people don't want to vote, speaking of uh, Hispanic Americans there, legal Hispanic Americans. There's a lot of apathy. The two candidates that, that there are, they don't like either of them. And frankly, why would they? Obama seems to use them, as he does every special interest group, and Mitt Romney completely ignores them. So they're ripe for the picking. He's not going to win them. He's not going to win that demographic. But I think he could make a dent. Um, so what do we think, folks? What do we think the strategy is? Is this a strategy? What would you tell him to do? What can he do? Where does he go from here? I think he needs a long-term plan, and I, need, I think he needs to be specific about it. Right. This is the guy who in the debates was talking about self-deportation. That's not realistic. He needs to be realistic. He needs to be unafraid, really, of, of Tea Partiers or conservatives being upset with him. If he believes something, he needs to come out and say it. And I don't think he needs to worry about voter enthusiasm on the right at this point. I think the right is ready to rally against Barack Obama. And I don't think that this issue, if he comes out and supports something like Marco Rubio did, I don't think this is going to push wow. them away from Romney toward Obama. That sounds like something that you're ready to agree with me on, then. That this, uh -oh. this, um, <laughs> you have your right wrong, Pat. Anyway, uh, th this is not even. I, you know, actually, I will make a slightly po uh, policy-based argument, but politically, it just seems so clear. As you said, mm -hmm. he doesn't need to really worry about Republican turnout or Republican voters for for him to win this election. I mean, I'm sure there's some some dents in what I just said, but I think they're going to be for, there for him, just like you yeah. said. They're going to be there to vote against Barack Obama. And he can't see this votership, this yeah. this base, this group of people that you put up with this chart, Growing which number. is stunning. Mm -hmm. You cannot see that, not just for this election, but for every future re election for Republicans. And I would suggest to you this. If, Bar I mean, if Mitt Romney outflanked Barack Obama on this, if he said, we're going to adopt a DREAM Act, a long-term solution, a DREAM Act, geared towards these people who came to the country before they were 16, and, and he outflanked Barack Obama on that, he could also, at the same ta time, lay claim to border security. He could say right. this will be accompanied by a stronger right. border. Mm -hmm. And then what does Barack Obama do? He comes along and says, well, oh, great. We're, on, we're in on that, too, uh, with, with the DREAM Act. But he says no to border security. Right. The, hybrid, right. the hybrid approach seems to be the smartest mm -hmm. thing right. Mitt Romney could do. He has supported E-Verify. I mean, he can draw the line at, uh, uh, you know, we want tighter border control and we want to know who's here. Yeah. And we will then want to work with the population that is already here. Yeah. You can sort of separate those, I think, into different things and, and still appeal to conservatives in a way that they're okay with it while not ceding the Hispanic vote almost in its entirety, which I think there is a fear that that could happen with the way things are going right now. Yeah. There's a real fear. And then that would actually make a serious uh, difference in the race. I think a hybrid approach could be the best thing that Mitt Romney could do. And he can also criticize the way Barack Obama went about this, circumventing Congress. He can also say, this Process. is not how I right. would do it. Right. I would do this a different the way. I would do this a way. not going to be yeah. No, no, no. Process, I mean, voters largely don't care about process. But if you make the argument stringing together all of these right, examples exactly. of how he's subverted process, Mm -hmm. and how Barack Obama seems to be a man without a country who cannot live within the means of the democratic process, yeah. then I think that's a really but good... But, S.E., can, 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 can Mitt Romney hit Barack Obama 
with the deportation numbers? Do you think he should stay away from that? As, I mean, as, as I showing sort of a hypocrisy If on I were going to make a nuanced argument and sort of a rhetorical argument, I would absolutely say, or find a surrogate to say, how is it that in the span of two weeks, you went from touting and celebrating your deportation numbers to saying we're no longer going to deport certain people. It's a commercial How do you make right that there. pivot? It would take a minute, and all you need is someone maybe like Jeb Bush or, or even a Marco Rubio just to make that rhetorical argument for you and point out this is political. But I period. think, too, 